yesterday, Chris Grandy, playing with Chris uh, Excuse the messy hair, just watched my son play tennis, and it's hot and sweaty, and I was wearing a visor, and this is what happens. You look like this. Anyway, uh, really interesting real estate story to share with you. I mean, I'm in Novato, California, which is the northernmost town in Marin County, and most of Marin County is extremely expensive, and Novato is just expensive especially compared to the rest of the country. You know, a 1,200, 1,300 square foot house is going to cost you 775,000. A 2,000 square foot house with four bedrooms is gonna cost you a million. If that house has special accoutrement, you know, <laughs> attached to it, it's gonna be more. So you're, you're in that range. And again, this is the cheapest town in, in uh, Marin County, but anecdotal, story for you in addition to the fact that instead of prices being you know houses being listed at really high prices and then getting overbid um, in addition to the fact that now we're starting to see uh, houses listed kind of underpriced which is intelligent to do by the way um, and and then getting bid up a little bit so that you know there's over the overall kind of price effect has dropped a bit especially for the, I would say like the houses that are not as super desirable, like regular houses. Um, but in addition to that factoid, you know, that we're seeing just a little bit of softening and it could be summer, it could be buyer fatigue, uh, just people not paying those prices. But in addition to that, I've got a little story here, uh, popped in on an open house on the way back from tennis, talked to the realtor. Interestingly, the same realtor was the guy who listed this absolute disaster fixer-upper in Novato, which uh, went under, under agreement a couple of weeks ago. And that particular house, when I went to go visit it, just to give you an idea, the sign on the outside said, no kids allowed inside because the, the air was hazardous. He basically had, I guess some old fellow lived in this house, hadn't done anything to it, um, had tremendous mold damage. There was a creek running through the back of the house lots of trees, so it's very, very damp property. And there was mold everywhere. Uh, when we actually looked at the house, I think they must have removed the worst of it because the, all the floors were torn up. A lot of the walls were missing, um, ceilings, doors, everything was just kind of missing. It was a bit of a shell. And they were listing this thing, I thought it was for 590, but like a realtor said 650. And, um, and I think, well, I was just talking with another uh, fellow I know who's a, uh, who is a house flipper, he's a contractor. And um, he, he was sad he missed that opportunity because he didn't realize it was available. And I was actually trying to reach him to let him know about it, but I didn't happen to see him that week. And, uh, but anyway, the, the uh, talking to the realtor at this open house today about that property. And because it's on a creek and we're in Marin County, which is, you know, you, you can't get more regulated than this place. I mean, it wasn't just a couple of years ago that if you just wanted to add an in-law to your house in Novato, the permit was like a hundred thousand dollars to the to the town and the county. Um, but they lowered that to like thirty thousand. But just the cost of the permits was tremendous, right? This is a creek running through the back. So think about the environmental and the conservation and all the other permits and and, and permissions you have to get and how much time that would take. All right. Um, my contractor friend estimated that if he did the work himself, it would cost $200,000. So himself, you know, with his skills, not hiring other people. The realtor I talked to, very experienced guy, obviously has multiple listings, knows real estate. You know, if you're talking to a realtor and they've, you know, and, and, and they've got two listings in a month, in a slow month, they're, pr they're probably pretty busy. The guy was experienced, looked like he was in his 50s, and I think he sold quite a few houses in town, as it uh, works with the team. So, you know, I take his word for it. He estimated the total cost of about $400,000 when you add in all the permits and the construction costs, et cetera. And I think he was pricing that if you were just a, a non-skilled person paying, you know, market rate for contractors. Because finding a contractor around here is also ridiculous. I mean, you're going to pay them amazingly top dollar. Um, they probably get paid more than lawyers in other towns uh, and doctors in other towns. You're going to pay top dollar. You're going to wait months and months if they even call you back. It's just, I mean, this is the tops. And um, he estimated 400,000. He 
he told me that house sold for seven eighty. All right, so let's let's do the math. Seven hundred eighty thousand. He said they had bids coming in because it was listed at six fifty and was so cheap for the area. The people not even looking at it were sending bids from like L.A. and Seattle. He said all over the country, people were sending him bids. Okay, and it sold for seven eighty, and he estimates four hundred thousand to fix it. That's a almost one point two million dollar total investment. A nice looking house in the neighborhood already done goes for around a million. So just because the price was lower, someone paid way too much money and they're gonna pay, they're gonna end up, it's gonna cost them more than 20% over neighborhood cost to own this house. In addition to that, I, I'll put a photo, I looked at this other wonderful house on the way to um, Sonoma, on the edge of Nevada, the same town, just on the other side, uh, up on the hill, beautiful house with like, 270 degree views of just surrounding valley up on a hill, windows everywhere, decks, uh, you know, huge, beautiful house, gorgeous house. That was that was listed for a little under 1.1 million. So you're paying more than you pay for that house just because it was probably listed at a low price. I mean, folks, you can't compete with stupid. Or if you're in the housing market and people like that are out there, you, you're not going to win. It's just dumb. The dude is just poor lack of math. Unless, I mean, again, the guy I taught, know who's been flipping houses for 20 years, okay, says if he did it himself, 200,000. All right, 780 plus 200, that's 980. Puts you right in the range with, um, and he, he's probably not even factoring the permits. So it puts you right in the range with the other houses in the neighborhood. But the realtor, you know, when we talk about permits, if you can't do it yourself, 1.2 million. A neighborhood isn't isn't that expensive for that type of house, a tiny little thing, all right? It's like a two or three bedroom house. And just 200,000, 20% above, at least 20% above market, and still way more than you could pay around. You could get a, a very nice house for 800,000. You're paying 400,000, 50% more than that. Uh, in fact, I'll show you a house listed for 739 right now. You know, nice little house. Um, uh, on an inclined street. Actually, around here, it's good to be up a hill, in my opinion. Other areas, like where it's icy in the north, you don't want to be on a hill. But here, I think it's a good thing to be on a hill for privacy, for, um, you know, for flash flood reasons and things like that. Um, and you could get that perfectly. Instead, to someone just, and this realtor was practically laughing at the person that bought it. And all I could say to him was, you did a great job for your client getting that price. I mean, what an excellent job. So, Guys, so like I said, you can't compete with stupid. Don't do dumb stuff to buy a house. This is this, this at some point. This is frantic. These are people just you know not thinking. Don't be that way. Make an intelligent decision. If you want to live somewhere, all right. You know when we're talking about purpose-driven home buying. Um, you know if you're following your values. If you want to live somewhere and you say you know what this is the place we want to be, the neighborhood we want to be in, and you think to yourself I would overpay because I plan on being here a long time. This way, okay, fine. You make that decision. But don't get desperate and do desperate, stupid things. Just don't do it. All right? That's my financial advice to you today. I thought I'd share that anecdote with you just to let you know that, you know, if you thought you were, you were crazy, it's not you. It's them. And just keep a, keep a stable head on your shoulder and think about what you're doing. All right? Any questions about this stuff, hit me up below, you know, email, go to my site. Happy to talk to you about it. We work with a lot of clients, clients, parents, et cetera, who are downsizing and on the other end of the size of this. And I'm telling you, the guys who are downsizing, you baby boomers, you're raking it in, just selling overpriced house to these millennials. They, they, you know, you just love these people. They are like paranoid buying, you know, you're, you're retiring comfortably. It's great, man. I mean, I have a great position to be in. My mom's in that position. <laughs> so it's a good position to be in. Um, but, um, you know, and, and also working on the other side, you know, your kids need some help keeping them level headed. Let us know. Could certainly uh, provide some uh, some advice in that area. Hopefully, you know we can we can be a soothing voice to someone. But thanks again for watching. Appreciate it. If you like the video, like it. Comments about real estate, etc., Marin County, anywhere else, feel free to drop them below. And uh, have a great day. Thanks for coming by.